Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today I have a really, really cool video. I'm going to show you two things. Number one, how to create spark lines in Power BI. Yes, it is possible and it's very easy to do. Number two, how you can resize multiple visuals with just one setting. This is really cool, really useful. Don't miss it. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with how to resize multiple visuals in Power BI. And this is a trick that Eric Svensson show us. I saw it on Twitter first and I asked him permission to share this with you and he kindly agreed. So I'm going to show you. So here it is. This is Eric Svensson. There is no picture of him here. But anyway, he's on Twitter too. In case you want to follow, he tweets all kinds of good stuff about Power BI. And he actually found a way to resize multiple visuals in Power BI at the same time. This is like very, very useful. And um, I am going to show you how he did it. I'm going to link to his blog post from my description box. So make sure you check that out. If you want to do this like uh, step by step and read it instead of watching me do it. Super cool trick. Make sure you give him a thank you tweet. Awesome. Let's show you how this is done. Okay, so here we are in Power BI. This is the report I did for the Power BI for Beginners video. I will post a link in the description box too, in case you haven't seen it and you want to do it. But this is the, the result of that video. And what we have here is three pie charts. What we are going to do is just move them around a little bit and change them inside. How often this happens, you know, that you have, you put in visuals and they look uh, exactly the same. You want them to be exactly the same. You want them to be aligned, but it just takes a lot of effort. It happens for me a lot with slicers. When the customer says, okay, we would like to have a lot of slicers and you have to put them in the right position. You have, of course, the... What is it? Uh, view the grid lines, and then you can just snap them where you want. Sometimes this is useful. There is a quicker way, and let's say that we want to align and make these pie chart uh, visuals the same and put them in the right place. So the first thing we will do is to make them the same size. So let's select them. And if you want to make them the same size as the first one, so what you see here is based on the first visual that you select. Let's do 225 and then 145. So now all the pie charts are exactly the same as the first one. Now, the last thing we want to do is to actually align them. And we want to align them align them to the left there you go and the last step they are all selected and the last step is just put it more or less like that and as you can see with very few steps we actually managed to do something that usually takes a lot of time so now a few words from his blog. It has to be the same type of visuals to be able to do this trick. So when I select only pie charts, as you can see, the general tab shows, and then I can change these. Now, if I select a pie chart together with a bar chart, look what happens, nothing. So you won't be able to do that on different types of visuals. But as I said, if you have a lot of um, slicers or a lot of bar charts or something that you want to resize them accordingly, now you know how to. So thank you, Eric. This is an awesome trick. Now, the next trick 
is how to create sparklines. So we start from zero and let's say we want to have year, month and number of passengers. So this is the number of passengers each year and each month. But we want to see our sparkline for 2016. So we put the filter in there and then we say basic filter in 2016 and we do it as a line chart, for example. So here we have January, February, March. So this is the number of passengers for flights in Sweden. Now we say, okay, we want to have that spark line for Gothenburg flights only. So now they're filtered by Gothenburg and how to make this a spark line? Very easy. You just turn off everything. And here you have it. What you can do also, if you want to, to give it a pop, you could just use the uh, field. I don't know how this is called. Aria chart. Okay. And then if we copy paste and we turn this into a chord instead of a area chart, then it will show us a number. We turn off the category and here you have it. You have a spark line. Really nice, huh? And let's say that we want now to do another spark line, but this time we want to have, let's see, let's see, let's see. Instead of Gothenburg, we want to have flights from, hmm, let's put Stockholm. Control C, Control V, so we're copying the visual and then we get the number of passengers, remove the category and we actually want another color, red, let's go. So, so as you can see, very, very easy to create spark lines. It's not as straightforward as it is in Excel, but this could work for like, you know, financial dashboards or sale dashboards where you want to see the um, total figure for sales, but also you want to see the trends and you can see it very, very clear on the chart. So I think it's very useful. Let me know what you think on the comment box. Great. So those are the tricks for this week. So this is all for today. I really hope you enjoy the tricks. Make sure you give Eric a thumbs up or, you know, visit his blog, give him a tweet, something as a thank you for sharing that cool trip with us. And uh, as usual, if you liked my video, let me know by liking it or by sharing it. I would appreciate that a lot. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions on any of the videos, just let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power VI videos every week. Now, if you want to get notifications for every video I publish, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, for some reason, YouTube is not uh, activating this by default, so you have to do it yourself. Click the bell if you want to know when I publish a new video. You will get an email. So this is all for tonight. Have a great evening. Bye.